and welcome to a little behind the scenes vlog of what I get up to with Dee from the Dynamic Performance Hub. We first started talking about what I wanted to work on particularly in this session. What other things have you been working on? A good level of impulsion, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because he can be a little bit lazy at times, especially at home. Um, I want to see if we can maybe just get him going a little bit quicker. Yeah. Warming up wise to do quite a lot in the walk to start with, because I feel like that just opens him up a bit more. So sometimes I'll walk him around and I'll sort of flex his neck to the inside and the outside and do lots of like walk to halt transitions. In today's session, to shake things up a little bit, in our warm up we were focusing on Joey moving forward. So as soon as he was ready, we went up into canter was really working on him having that forward positive mindset. While I was warming up Joey and giving him a canter round, Dee had a little look at my position and was noting all the things that we needed to work on. But don't need, you don't need to round your back. Just just go just go straight forward. Just go straight forward. Yeah. Sure, I tell you what, I'm holding this, hold your get that con hold the rein up okay. now. Yeah. Now just stand up in your go one hand. Stand up in your stirrup, one hand. Yeah. Right, you need to so keep there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, stay there. You want to be like moving with them rather than just staying static. It was then time for me to cant around, but this time taking Dee's comments on board. There we go. That was better. Dee also films a lot of stuff on her iPad as well, so later on I can go back and watch the footage and see the difference within the session. You can also see how much more relaxed and less stiff I am cantering around compared to the beginning. And Joey and I definitely look better once our muscles have warmed up a bit. After that it was then time to go in and put on my EQ bands. So these bands are especially designed for horse riders to wear and they put you in the correct riding position which I find helps to activate the correct muscles you're supposed to use so the next day it can make you ache a little bit yeah. whereas at the moment what you'll sometimes do is come here yeah and then that arches your back and then it's putting all that weight going forward while wearing the bands we did a lot of transitions especially in canter to help joey think forward a little bit more Dee also filmed this on her ipad so later on i could look at the footage and see how differently i was riding with the bands on compared to again the beginning of the session she also took some photos of us standing as well so we could look back on the progress and also for me to look back on and see where I should be riding. We then did the same exercises on the other rein and after that it was time to focus on the trot. Here on this change of rein you can see his bum swing out a little bit and drift so that's again something that we need to work on but his trot is looking a lot better. Really good. Okay come in. Feel that at all? Well I did feel a bit but it wasn't felt like nothing compared to before. So you have been doing quite a lot of leg work. It was then time to take the bands off, but this time really focus on me riding as if they were still on. We did some pole work, again, to get Joey moving forward a little bit more, but also I find doing pole work really helps open him up a little bit more. And as you can see by this trot, oh my oh. goodness. He does look like a whole new horse compared to the beginning of the session. We then did the poles in trot as well and he's starting to be so much more balanced around the corner as I feel like a few months ago he would have really struggled with this exercise. After going over the poles in canter on the other rein, it was then time to do an exercise that Joey and I struggle with a little bit and it's something that we definitely need to work on and that is shortening and lengthening our canter strides. Now, now asking Joey for a more collected canter he finds really difficult as he really has to use his muscles. We then decided to do some more trot work so went over the poles and then it was time to focus on doing some leg yielding. Now one of the reasons why Dee wanted us to do this wasn't because we were really focusing on the actual leg yield but she wanted me to focus on my position and for that to not go out the window when asking Joey to do a more difficult movement. We went through the poles once again and you can really see him thinking, picking up his legs, we were nice and straight as well, he wasn't leaning on me like like he can sometimes do. It was then time to go back to the working on our collective canter, well which we got a little That's bit it, the end. That's it, That's it, that. Well done. Press there. Well done. Did you feel that? Yeah. He comes back. Yeah? You've got to practice that. That is yeah. the thing that you are practicing. 
After our lesson, it was then time for Joey to be treated and I think this is his favourite part. He loves a bit of a massage and also having his haylage at the same time and all the attention, so he is one happy boy. While he was having that done, I had a banana as a snack banana while time. I was watching through all the videos on the iPad and looking at our progress throughout the session. During Joey's treatment, Dee also shows me some exercises and stretches that I can do with Joey at home and that we can easily incorporate into our routine. At the end of Joey's treatment, Dee also uses a laser on him and he always feels so relaxed afterwards. Then it was time for me to go through some exercises that I can do at home to help me get stronger and improve my riding. We first started off doing this one where I'm actually on top of a balance ball and then lifting some weights so we were really focusing on me staying balanced and engaging my core. We then worked a little bit on my jumping position on the ball and I did some squats here. This is definitely something that I need to work on. For years I've kind of had a bit of a bad back which has really affected my riding so I've kind of had to relearn and re-strengthen all of my muscles to make sure that I am riding correctly. I was a little bit wobbly in places but in the end I got there. We then worked on my legs using the bands again as resistance. We then worked on my coordination which is something I struggle with a little bit being dyslexic so I promise you I know the difference between my lefts and rights and also my legs and my arms but sometimes what my brain thinks my body just gets a little bit muddled and doesn't do the correct thing that I'm being told especially when we do quick fire exercises where I'm under a little bit more pressure and have to do things quickly we then did some exercises to help me with my heels and make them more flexible especially when they're in the stirrups I had the bands on my arms as well for that added resistance and oh my goodness I do not have an attractive concentration face. I do this thing where I kind of scrunch my face into a ball and kind of squint. I don't know why I do this, it's just something I've always done and it is not very attractive. But anyway, the band around my arm really helped me focus on my balance and also my straightness. After that we did a skipping exercise, this is really good for my fitness and it also helps me remember to sit up a little bit more because I can tend to lean forward and I do do that quite a bit when I'm riding as well. We then did some stretches which have been helping me so much especially with my bad back. I think a lot of people forget that horse riding is a sport and at the end of the day that we are athletes so doing these exercises have helped me so much with my riding. This one here, the first time I did it I actually almost fell flat on my face so it has been really satisfying to see how much I've progressed over my sessions and also just seeing how much stronger I've got. We even did this exercise with a weight at the end which took me a little while to get but it's something that I'm working on at the moment. Dee also used the bands again to help stretch me out with my bad back and just sort of open everything up. I feel like you know that you're doing the right thing when it feels like you're playing the most intense game of Twister. After that we did some squats and again this helps me work on my coordination because Dee would be shouting out which leg and which direction I need to be going and you can really see the concentration in my face. I was especially working on making sure that I was nice and straight and that I wasn't wobbling or leaning to one side. After a bit more stretching it was then time to get the bands out once again and here you can see I'm really focusing on engaging my core and using the correct muscles as I can tend to use too much kind of in my shoulders and neck which causes me to have my bad back a little bit. Lastly it's time for me to be treated and here you can see Dee pushing my leg down or not pushing my leg down because I've got so much stronger which is great to see and I cannot tell you how much looser I feel after having all of the knots taken out of me. So anyway guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!